Alright guys, uh, you, you know the deal. I'm not gonna do that stupid intro stuff. You, you know what the deal is. Uh, we're, we're gonna be reviewing a Skylander today. Uh, his name is Jetpack, but as I like to call him, uh, Vacuum Cleaner Bird. So, uh, let's get to it. Alright guys, so right off the bat, he pulls up looking like a white supremacist, so, uh, you already know he's gonna be a okay Skylander. But, uh, you know, I'll shut up. I'll, let's, let's get to his attacks, because that, that's the part you guys came here for. Or, did you come here for me being, like, <laughs> we'll see. Alright, that first segment didn't happen. So basically, you know, he has a gun. It shoots, uh, he shoots out these little air projectiles. Do pretty, uh, pretty decent damage. Uh, they're, even without upgrades, they're still pretty fire. Uh, that's, uh, yeah, you can spam them really quickly too, which is also cool. Alright guys, now we're going over why I call him Vacuum Bird. Basically, he has a big vacuum cleaner. He sucks enemies, and when they touch his vacuum cleaner, they go and just die. They 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 literally just cease to exist. Gone. They they're in Brazil now. They're literally just a one way ticket to Brazil. All expenses paid trip. Not round trip. One way. Yeah, they're gone. They're just gone. It's hilarious. Once you upgrade it, it just becomes so powerful, and it, and it also uh, refills some, uh, your air meter, which you use for another ability, which we'll get into now. It also picks up the monies off the ground, but it also takes the souls from the, qu the corpses of the dead that you murdered with your other attack. Pretty cool, right? Yeah, he also has a little uh, boost thing, which takes his air meter, which I was telling you about before. Uh, his air meter naturally recharges after he uses it for the uh, attack where he uh, you basically press a button and you fly, you go faster. But uh, um, you also um, lose air, uh, which you can regain from using the vacuum cleaner to absorb the air from the air. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Fast. Nice. Nice guys, now we're going to talk about paths, dude. You know what I mean? Paths, the, the different paths for the character. Alright, path. Alright, path one. Um, you, you upgrade his, um, his uh, air projectiles. One of the upgrades makes it so that his air projectiles do more damage. The other one... Okay, I'll, I'll get back to you on that. I have gotten the god. I am now getting godded, and I have gotten back to you. All right. So the other upgrade uh, makes it so they pierce his enemies and also does more damage. And the other one makes it so you can like literally suck enemies inside of your vacuum cleaner and shoot them out as a massive shot. It does a ton of damage. That's what you're seeing here when I like completely consume something. Yeah, that's good because you know you can just suck up like a very tiny enemy and shoot it out as like a massive charge shot, just as insane amounts of damage. Because no matter what enemy you suck up, it does the same amount of damage. So you could just like farm the small ones and just blast them out as like the biggest shots ever and do insane amounts of damage. So Yeah, um, second path, uh, I think that's the, uh, corkscrew path. So basically, uh, you can, uh, float, you can do the, uh, funny jetpack move for longer, and, uh, and then you can, uh, you can, uh, I'm not sure what else it gives. I know it allows you to just attack while you're flying. You can just do a corkscrew into the, uh, into the enemies, so that's cool. Uh, I, I sound uninformed because I haven't used this path, and, uh, yeah, I didn't look at it for too long, because the other path just sounded so much more superior. Oh yeah, I remember now. It also makes it so you can suck things up long for, uh, for, uh, your, you sucking things up does more damage. Which is also cool. Uh, but, uh, yeah, overall, I think path one's better, because I personally use that more. But, that's just my opinion, which also happens to be the point of this video. So, uh, go eat your Cheerios and Go somewhere else if you uh, challenge it. Otherwise, no. Now, actually, no. Don't, don't leave. Uh, finish the video first, and then go eat Cheerios somewhere else. To clarify, the corkscrew thing is where, when you're flying, you can just fly, do the funny jetpack move, and then you can press a button and you'll dash forwards into an enemy to do lots of big damage. Uh, big all the bow bucks and damage. Uh, yeah, get uh, get wrecked. Get yo mama owns oh, question mark. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Alright, oh yeah, we forgot to talk about his wow power. You get that from collecting the soul gem and giants, or if you're playing literally any other game, well, uh, no, no, you just get it for free. Or you have to pay monies, but, uh, monies, but no, uh, you can just get it without the soul gem, but, uh, so, uh, in, uh it's, the soul gem is, I think it's in the, uh, auto gyro adventure, I 
think, don't quote me on that, because uh, you can just look it up if you really want, but it basically gives you armor, which I'm pretty sure just reduces uh, how much damage you take, which is cool, but yeah, uh, it's not too mentionable, but I thought I'd mention it. It's not very notable, but uh, I thought I'd mention it anyway, because uh, it's a detail, and uh, this is our Skylanders review. We talk about everything here. We're professionals. We're not just going to leave out a detail like that. Okay, yeah, uh, no. Yeah, cool. Have fun. Alright guys, we're also doing a story time in the same video. You know, when I was a wee little lad, a small little kitty, I used to think the Skylander was suck. But no, it, it's good. It's really good. It turns out I was really stupid as a kid, because a lot of Skylanders I thought were bad are actually pretty good. Because uh, this character, um, he does a pretty decent damage once you upgrade him. When I was a kid, I turns out I was stupid and didn't know how to upgrade. So, uh, yeah. But, uh, I just spent all my monies on Skystones like a dumb dumb. Like a dumb, stupid head. What, like an like idiot, troglodyte, monkey, poop brain. <laughs> yeah, but uh, now I know how to upgrade. Now that he's really good once you upgrade him. Like, you can use, uh, he, uh, you can use his, um, uh, his, like, uh, his. <laughs> you use his, uh, jetpack ability for mobility, to move around. When I was a kid, I also liked to tank damage like an idiot. And giants, you don't get to tank damage because every enemy does, like, 150 damage and you only have, like, four. Hundred health max, but like uh, or most cores. So yeah, you gotta uh, you can use his uh jetpack to move around. His uh, his um, cannon is a great offensive move with that can do range too. And if you need an enemy to be closer, well, you got a vacuum. You're a bird. You got a vacuum. Just suck him in and then uh, just shoot him to death. Cut him down. Yeah, but. If you use him efficiently, he's really fun. I assume that corkscrew move would be pretty cool if you'd use that path too. So overall, he's just pretty fun, but... I, or I like him now. I didn't used to like him as a kid, which is most people who play this game. Kids, because... Kids game! Exclusively for children, but... No, I'm reviewing the Skylander, so... Don't, don't at me. Alright, guys. Now uh, we're going to go to the verdict, I think. Maybe. I might add another random audio clip, but here we go. For now, verdict. <laughs> guys, 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 I didn't mention what- But God, he can- he can use his vacuum! He can suck in the monies! The monies? He sucks it in with his vacuum cleaner. The, the monies, it sits there, and the, he- he uses his vacuum cleaner, and the monies go- And we go- and, it, and then it's inside of your inventory, you, you get the monies, he can get the monies for you! It's awesome, dude. Buy him right now, or else, dude. He can get the monies for free! Really? Oh, Lord! Okay, I'm sorry, guys. I'll, I'll, I'll go to the verdict now, for real this time. Alright, um, so, final verdict is, you know, uh, I like him a lot. He's a cool character, uh... Now you don't just get to commit a uh, genocide on the dust bunnies. Now you get to do it on anything that your camera moves on to. So yeah, or I like him anyway. The way he plays is fun. He's able. To, he has multiple moves to bring. He has a move to bring enemies back to him. He has, can do decent damage with his primary, and he can go fast. So he's not just slow. Uh, yeah, I have some complaints, like you know, like how you have to recharge his jetpack and you ha can. Uh, it takes a little bit of time, but it's not too bad. And the other thing I like, or I don't like, is, is helpful, but, you know, I that's asking for way too much if you had a bigger helpful, because then you could just, you know, be, like, infinite health, just tanking everything, blasting everything, killing everything, just destroying everything. That'd be too powerful. You, you can't do that. It, it's gotta be balanced. We've gotta have some form of order here, right, guys? Yeah, but, um, yeah, I like him. Uh, yeah, uh, he's cool. Uh, yeah, yeah. If you're going to buy giants, he comes with it unless you got the other starter pack. Then, then you're stupid. But no, uh, yeah. Uh, if you're if you get giants, he comes with it, so he, you might as well use him because he's pretty fun, in my opinion. He's probably one of the better characters I've played. At least probably one of my favorite of that I've reviewed is either him or Blaston. I'm going to have to redo the Blaston review, I'll say, because I c didn't give Blaston nearly enough credit as he deserved. Because he's a pretty cool character. He's a pretty good character. I didn't give him enough of a rating. Because I ranking because I didn't have a general idea of how I would rank them. And what the thing should be. But he's he's definitely higher. Because now I've played some Skylanders I don't really like. Now I know what 
the criteria is and what I should rank them with. So, yeah, I'm going to have to redo that. But for now, uh, verdict over. I think we're going to go to the outro notes. Dude, alright. Thank you guys for subscri uh, for watching these videos. Uh, I got like 10 subscribers now, which is awesome. I'm going to have to release a 10 subscriber special. Maybe make it a... I, I won't spoil it, but it's going to be cool. So thank you guys. Uh, I'm glad you're... Hopefully you're enjoying the videos. Um, I purposely make them good. But, uh... Yeah, these videos, uh, Skylanders reviews, uh, take a little bit longer to make than other videos, because, you know, those I can just record footage, and these I actually have to, you know, do stuff, but, yeah, thanks for watching, and, uh, see you in the next video, which probably will be music, uh, oh, no, there is an album, we're having an album December 3rd, uh, it's gonna be called Baptize in the Boys Locker Room, it's gonna be awesome, <laughs> you guys aren't ready for this, it's gonna be cool, but, uh, for now, goodbye, and I'll, and I'm gonna be working on that, but, yeah, see y'all in the next video, bye-bye. Poo-poo in the... Poo-poo in the... Bruh, 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 b